I'm going to show you today how you can remote control another computer um, basically anywhere in the world and um, the software that I'll be using is totally free as well and also once installed you can actually transfer files in between the computers um, let's have a look so basically first of all you open up your web browser and you type in team viewer um, it's this top one here we want to go to teamviewer.com that website right there once you're on the web page of teamviewer.com you want to select uh, the download option here now you can either just click on run to run the file straight from the website or you can save the file first I'm just going to save it to my desktop so you click save and then save as choose desktop on the left here uh, it's going to be called Team Viewer. that's fine just click save this is now downloading the installation package to my desktop it's now completed so we can close this and we can close the website there you can see the Team Viewer setup file double click this select run this will now go off and install Team Viewer. you want to install Team Viewer? that's fine click next say yes to any um, account control settings select yes on this screen you want to select personal non-commercial use click next accept both the license agreements click next leave that setting as default that's fine click next just installing the package now you can see it's already created the shortcut for the um, software at the moment there you go that is now installed team viewer on this machine um, you're also going to need the person's machine that you're going to remote control you need them to do exactly what we've just done you need them to install team viewer as well and once that's installed on the machine you want to remote control they will also have this screen with an ID number and a password okay this is the PC that I've just installed team viewer on and over here we have another PC which I have just also installed team viewer um, so basically what I want to do is remote control that PC in the corner there from this machine here so what you need to do is get the user ID and password from the machine that you want to remote control so if we go over to here we basically ask the end user to give you that ID number and that password so now we have that we come back to the machine right okay so I've got the ID number and the password from the other PC that I want to remote control so we type in the partners ID number which was 455001153 you click on connect to partner it's now gone off connected to the other PC but it now needs to authenticate which the password for that was 9523 we click log on that's it we're now on the other PC um, as you can see this is why I've got the camcorder set up so I can just show you the other PC was on a living for golf website and as you can see that was the website on that machine over there so I'll keep on there but I'll, I'll move the um, screen around from this side as you can see I'm now in full control of the other computer okay so I'm on the main machine at the moment and this is the other computer that I'm remote controlling at the moment uh, if I minimize this is the main computer where we install TeamViewer and this is the PC that I was showing you in the corner so I now have full control of that PC um, I can also transfer files from my local machine across to another machine um, on my local machine here I've got a just for an example I've got a picture called beach so I want to put this onto the other machine 
all we need to do is whilst in the team viewer session at the top here you have um, different menu items you need to select file transfer and then the option file transfer this will bring up this um, dialog box here um, on the left hand side you have local computer which is your computer which is the one I'm actually sitting on at the moment and you have the remote computer which is the one where we want to send the file to now as you can see on the local computer we're currently on the desktop directory which is where I've saved the file beach you can see it there on the remote computer on C drive I created a folder test for TeamViewer in this folder there is no files so I want to transfer the beach picture across to the other machine so you just highlight it like that click on the send button that has now been transferred to the other PC so I'm just going to flick back to the camcorder just to show you it on the other machine so this is the machine where we've just done the file transfer as you can see that's where we left off my local machine is where I had the file and I transferred it across to Beach in a folder called C Drive Test for TeamViewer on the other machine so if we go across to the other machine now there you can see the event log for the file transfer so if we just stop the file transfer because it's finished anyway and then close it this is on the PC that's in the corner where we've transferred the file to if I open up the C drive here you can see I created the folder test for TeamViewer which was empty if we go in it now there's the folder that I've transferred from the other machine okay once you have finished with the file transfer and you've finished remote controlling the other PC to end the session all you need to do is just X out of the um, TeamViewer session like so uh, it tells you that it was a free session the other machine in the corner as well the end user they will also get a message saying that the session has ended um, that's basically how you use TeamViewer to remote control another PC thank you